Josh and I were talking about making a tomahawk steak. I mean, look at this bad boy, come on. This is where I just turn into like an animal. Um, <laughs> well, I thought that since Josh and I wanna cook a tomahawk steak, that maybe we should turn to one of the world's greatest experts, cause you may know him from uh, Simon's Dinner's Cooking Out and Barbecue Brawl, Flay versus Simon. I mean, come on, it's Michael Simon. <laughs> hey, Drew, hey, Josh, what's going on? How are you guys? Michael. Great, Michael, lovely to be here with you. Josh, Josh, Michael. Josh, you, I could listen to you talk all day. You are incredibly soothing. So I'm very excited to show you and Drew <laughs> how to make the steak. And, and the, the tomahawk, the thing about a tomahawk is I feel it's a little bit of a celebratory steak. Uh, but the, the key to cooking it is it's a big, thick steak. So how do you cook a big, thick steak to add the most amount of flavor and uh, to, to really cook it evenly? The, we do a reverse sear on it. And a reverse sear is, is cooking the steak at a very slow temperature in your oven, um, like 225, with some veg aromatics that you like. I'm using rosemary and garlic. So this allows the, cook, the steak to cook very slowly and evenly all the way through. You get it to about 10 degrees less than the temperature you want to finish it at, and then you pull it out to finish it either in a cast iron or on the grill. So if, if, I, if you like your steak, how do you like your steak, Josh? Well, I, I do my medium, medium rare, but I do the exact same thing except for what I was doing, and you help me if I'm doing it wrong, was putting it on, you know, the, the um, ledge above a barbecue? So I put it on the barbecue yeah. sort of at a lower temperature, put it on the ledge for, you know, a while, 45 minutes or so, and then brought it down, basically, and finished it off that we're, way. We're, so it's exactly, yeah. Do, you're doing the exact same thing. It's, it's a perfect method. So I just brushed the outside of this with extra virgin oil. Then with the steak this cut thick, you're going to have to be pretty liberal with your salt. I'm just using kosher salt here. And then if you wanted to do cracked black pepper, you could do cracked black pepper, um, but that's that's more of a choice. And then I create a little bed. I put some garlic cloves underneath. I put some rosemary underneath. And then I also do the same thing on top. I just, I leave the skins on the garlic, slightly smash it with my hand, put it on top. And then we cover that in the rosemary also. Then this goes in our 225 Ooh. degree oven. Um, for roughly 45 minutes or until you get to the temperature that you want to get to. Okay. This, um, by the All way, right. smells so good. The garlic and the rosemary. I'm a big fan of fried rosemary too. This is beautiful. Oh, delicious. And once you pull it out, we could go right to our cast iron pan with it. Beautiful. That looks fantastic. So now I have my cast iron on about medium high heat. So we're just going to take off our garlic and our rosemary. Take it and off. And I'm gonna take the steak, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take the steak and I'm just gonna put it right in the pan. And you can feel the sear. Yes! Michael, on a steak like this, yeah, approximately on, like how long-ish to a side? On the average, depending on the heat of the pan, the size of the steak, three to five minutes. Okay, perfect, um, a side. Because the crust, yeah, a side, because the crust really adds that maximum flavor. Um, but, but you can see it's running out some of that fat. And look at my crust now, look at that. See that? <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Yes. <laughs> it's perfect. So now I'm gonna put my rosemary and garlic back in this pan. And now this is one last great trick. I'm just gonna take some butter and I'm gonna put the butter in the pan. And as that butter melts, I'm going to take the butter and baste it over my steak because the butter is gonna take on the flavor of the rosemary and the garlic. So now we That's take great. that melted butter and we just, we just throw it on top. And as you put it over the steak, it's infusing some of that garlic and rosemary in there, but it's also kind of reinforcing our crust. Oh, you can smell it from here. Oh, look at that. And Josh, your new movie, Murderous Trance, um, what was that like? I mean, I hope this isn't a spoiler. You're a bad guy. Yeah, he's a great bad guy. Uh, I mean, in the sense of just uh, as a maniacal cult leader type personality, it was bizarre to make because, I, you know, Drew, you get these little um, weird uh, tricks that we learn. And that one, I was so jet lagged making that movie that I realized it was really helping me 
Um, so I decided basically I didn't sleep for a full eight days and I looked worse and worse and my <laughs> performance became better and better. <laughs> but no, I have a quick, I have a quick little funny story, Drew, about E.T. Like my little boy and I, when we watched E.T., I, I convinced him that E.T. was living in the north woods of Central Park. And so we would go to the woods of Central Park and we would search for E.T. And I would, I would basically let him go in front of me and I would just occasionally throw a pine cone at him. And I was like, that's E.T. <laughs> E.T.'s trying, like, it was, it was the most fun. It was such a wonderful, uh, we did it probably oh, like so once or twice a week for a couple months well, doing you, search of E.T. You know what that tells me? <laughs> that you're a good dad. Uh, Absolutely. I, I agree with that comment 100%. Yep. So then what I do when we were talking, I cut out that outside cap, like where the fat runs, I cut that off. That's the decal. That is the cap of the steak, the most delicious part of any steak. Um, it's the part that, like, I always want to eat, um, but I, I give to my friends because I'm kind, but that's the most flavorful part. And then the rest of it, you could just slice down right through. <gasps> oh, my God. It is perfect. And then I just like to finish it with some, like, crunchy sea salt, Florida cell, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil totally. um, drizzled on top. And that's it, you know. It's delicious. Yeah. It's, <laughs> Good. it's incredible. I feel guilty. Very I'm jealous, like, you guys. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm like, it's okay. My mouth is truly watering. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys, this was so informative. I feel like I got really, like, no BS, life-changing tips. And um, I just thank you both, gentlemen, for this wonderful, meaningful, awesome, groovy, cool time together. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, Michael, so much. Michael Simon on Cameo. And all proceeds benefit the Michael D. Simon Foundation and directly help the restaurant industry, which needs it so much right now. And thank you, Josh Lucas. Murderous Trance will hit VOD and all digital platforms where movies are sold on February 9th. Thanks, guys. Pleasure being here. Bye, guys. Thank you.